but it's fish and chips. This is what you get when you're like five. It's about the batter. What's going on? Today we're going to be trying each other's fish and chip shop orders. Very Aussie. We're going to try each other's orders, give it a rating out of 10, and the person with the most face wins. Yay! We are all going to try everyone's dish, give it a rating out of 10. Whichever gets the most votes wins. Fish and chips is grass. Yeah, I love it. Fish and chips in Australia is very iconic. The summer kind of food, festive, fun food when you're down at the beach. Spending the whole day in the ocean and then tasting the ocean. It's real synergy. I'm looking for a big, beautiful fish and chips, deep fried. My ideal situation when I'm getting food from fish and chips is like have a variety of stuff. Healthy stuff. No, I'm looking at what sauce you get, what seafood you get, if you get chippies or not. It should be a little bit greasy and a bit naughty. I love the naughty stuff. My order is a battered fish and chips with a prawn cocktail. Just to have something a little bit fun with it, but also keeping it super classic. I get tomato sauce because I don't really mess with those weird sauces, tartar and aioli and stuff. Whoa, oh my God, it's fish and chips. Fish and chip shops have so many sauces on their menu. You can pick the tartare, you can get the curry sauce if you like me, and mayonnaise or barbecue. Tomato, it's kind of like you're playing Jane. This is what you get when you're like five. I love the lemon, this is iconic. Every fish and chip shop should serve everything with lemon. White and battered crispy fish. I have to say that this is my favorite kind. That's what you go to the fish and chip shop for. Mmm. Mmm the crunch. This is classic. If you don't like this, then what do you like? I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on there. It's not that creative, it's not that new, but it's really good. I do love it. Chippies. You gotta get chicken salt on the chippies. The better version of a chip is a potato cake. These are just like, not as exciting. And then we've got this fried prawn cocktail thing, which I love. It's like something a little bit extra. Prawn. It is kind of a fancy thing. The fact that they fried it though, the perfect way to have that as part of your fish and chip shop order. This is your quintessential fish and chip shop order, isn't it? 8.5, it's pretty good. It could be a lot better. It could be a lot more varied. Seven out of 10. Love this meal. I think it's a solid start. I am going to give this one a six out of 10. What else is there? Squiddy, something grilled. Okay, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. My order is salt and pepper squid with chippies and aioli. My order's the best because it's a little bit different to your classic fish and chips. Squid is like the distant cousin of fish. <laughs> and it's delicious. The tentacle parts are the best. Ah! I love salt and pepper squid. It's like probably my second order if I didn't have my order. Um, these look like chicken strips. Aioli. Don't like the smell of that. Calamari and aioli is such an iconic combo. Like, to me, that is what you would get, like, as a share plate at the pub. They're not calamari rings. They're, like, full, like, squid sticks. This is a risky item to order at Fish and Chips. You just know that they're going to overcook it and it's going to be rubbery AF. Like, you're gonna bite into it and it's gonna, like, bang your back in the face. I'm just processing the fact that it's just calamari and chips and that's it. Like, to me, that's not enough variety. If I was at the Fish and Chips shop, I would definitely get my order, maybe, plus, like, maybe one piece of calamari on the side. But I do love calamari. That was really good. I had to spot. Could use a bit more salt and pepper. The squid texture, it's so good. Wonderful, quite exquisite actually. Calamari, it's kind of like the chicken of the sea. It was delicious. And the chips, also great with aioli. Aioli is like, what, like a really good dip, but I don't know if it's synergized with the ocean. I would prefer like rings of calamari. The chips, however, the best part of this meal. The yeah, chips are good. They've got chicken salt. Chicken salt, just Iconically Australian, if you go anywhere else around the world, it's just not on their menu and they look at you like, what did you just order? This is pretty solid, but there's not enough variety for me. So I'm gonna have to give this one a six out of 10. It's just a little bit too witty. A six out of 10. I was watching um, Love Island last night, couple insane. I know. It's like, I wanna couple up with this girl because 
when I see her face, it makes me smile and blah, blah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? It's time for another recoupling where favourites Tom and Zita have been on a bit of a rocky path. And his relationship with the new bomb, hey, well, that seems a bit fishy. So what will he score her? I'm going to give this order this score because it is a really delicious, but I just don't love the sauce. So I'm going to give this fish and chips order a nine. My order is a grilled salmon, salad, chippies with chicken salt and tartar sauce. You've got to have oysters to start with because there's nothing like slurping on an oyster after spending the day in the ocean. Oh, it's just the best. Okay, this is not something I expected to see in my fish and chip shop order. Oh my god! Uh, this is healthy. This is what I'm not looking for. This is a really mixed bag. Loving some stuff, hating the other stuff. Salmon, delicious. But this is like going to a pub and getting a salad. If I'm going to a fish and chip shop, I want fish and chips. I guess this is fish and chips. I want battered fish and chips, you know? The battered is silent. The bat it is silent. Yeah, that's funny. After you've had a swim, you can't get out of the water and go, hmm, might have a few lettuce leaves. I don't know which fancy pants is ordering an oyster with their fish and chips, but I would say that this isn't really acceptable. If I was at a restaurant, yes. I hate oysters. They taste like expensive snot. I'm not eating an oyster. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It takes me like back to the beach. I feel like I'm in the water. I do like the oyster. It was a nice little touch. Fish, okay, this is weird. I don't really think that salmon is an appropriate fish to order. I need to eat it with the tartare sauce because I think that's going to be the only redeeming factor. It's five o'clock somewhere in the world. Mm. This is a very good order. It's a healthy order. Fish and chip shop order for me isn't this healthy. Beautiful piece of salmon. I'm actually surprised. I do like it. It's about the batter. What's going on? The one thing that's letting me down right now is the salad. Oh, tomato, like that. Oh, and cucumber. Actually solid salad and it's got a bit of sauce on it, which is nice. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10. 7.5. All we need to know now is if Mullet Man has had his desires filled by this succulent salmon. And by real world, he means the one with Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah. This order is great for certain people. Unfortunately for me, this order doesn't fulfill my basic needs or desires. We don't have a connection and I don't see us working in the real world. I'm going to give this order a 6.2. My fish and chip shop order is fried fish, potato cakes, and of course I've got my secret weapon, which is a tradition I picked up from living in Scotland. It's curry sauce. It's basically a curry gravy. Sweet and salty and amazing on everything. If you really want to get your hands on some curry sauce, I recommend going to a Scottish run chippy in Australia. What the hell is that? Weird sauce. It's curry sauce? Duh. <laughs> Oh, not so bad, actually. Mmm. That's so weird, but really yummy. Imagine Keen's curry powder mixed with like water or something. Curry sauce, quite good, actually. Curry flavor is a completely different context to the fish and chip shop. The synergy isn't there. Potato pancake? Potato scallops. Potato fritter. Iconic and delicious and amazing. Yum, yum, yum. Potato pancakes. It doesn't taste like much. It's a potato scallop. It's fucking fantastic, obviously. All right, chippies. I'm gonna dip it in the curry sauce because I'm assuming that's what this person is doing. Absolutely not. I quite like it, actually. Now for the fish. Oh yeah, really good. Oh my god. I'm getting flashbacks. It tastes like my grandma's fish curry. Not as good, obviously. I hate the sauce with it so much. Why am I gonna write this? Did I say anything good to Sam? No, I said something funny. Someone said, hey, you some curry sauce with your fish and chips. What did you say to that? I would say no. I'll just say, wowza! <laughs> wow, wow, wee wow! I'll say, holy oh. dooly moly. <laughs> That's definitely going to edit and now I look stupid. And now say fish and chips, more like 
fish and chips. <laughs> Can get an eight because this curry sauce, I need another option. It's too intense. This had so much potential, but the sauce lets it down for me. Also, there's no chicken salt. If it had that, it would have been perfect. So I'm gonna have to give this one a four out of 10. The mullet is back with his final score. And although this saucy number may not have been his type on paper, will he be blown out of the water? This order is actually exceeding my expectations with this curry sauce. In the real world, I see us working together really well. So I'm gonna give this a 9.5. I can't believe it. I frankly, I cannot believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram at BuzzFeed Oz. I've never been a fan of tartar. Or tartare, or whatever you call it. Tartar. When you say tartare. Tartar, tartu, tartie. This sauce is fucking yum.